There have been many cases of, who, of suicide and homicide of people on uh, these drugs. It should prohibit you from owning a gun. Uh, people are misquoting me, by the way, saying I came out for gun control, which is a lie. I came out for drug control, not gun control. There is a 1968 Gun Control Act that is in place. I said add to that list anyone on uh, SSRIs, they should not be able to own a gun. Now, I want to talk for a moment about guns. I don't want any calls on gun control. Because you've done that all day long. I heard everything you could possibly hear. I want to talk about movie control. I want to talk about video game control. I want to talk about controlling the Quentin Tarantinos. I want to talk about controlling the sewer pipe of Hollywood. They are, they are violence dealers. Make no mistake about it. We all hate drug dealers. Everybody knows what a drug dealer is. They know what they do to society. But you mean because they walk on a red carpet? And because they're invited to the White House, it means that they're somehow different. The men who've made billions of dollars purveying violence and pornography over and over again because there is no controlling them. We're going to begin talking about controlling Hollywood. We're going to talk about controlling video games. We're going to talk about censoring movies. We're going to talk about censoring violent films and violent video games. We're going to talk about uh, psychological medications and, and no guns. But I do want to talk about guns per se for a moment. By the way, if you can't join the conversation on the Savage Nation, it's one eight five five four hundred seven two eight two from anywhere in the United States of America. Eight five five four hundred Savage from anywhere in America. If you can't talk about any of these topics, here's what I want to say to you. It's ex extremely important that I say this to you about guns per se. First of all, I'm a gun owner. I've told you that from the beginning. I was on a high school rifle team. It's a big deal. I don't think there's anyone in radio today who can say I was on the high school rifle team. Why? There are no high school rifle teams. But remember, I was on a New York City, inner city, New York City rifle team. We had a rifle team with rifles in the basement of Jamaica High School. Incidentally, no one shot themselves. No one shot anybody in the hall. There were no medications like there are today. There was God everywhere. There were synagogues, there were churches, there was the fear of God, there was the fear of the Ten Commandments over our heads. Right now, all of that's been stripped away by the vermin on the left who are now trying to strip away our constitutional rights to protect ourselves. The very same people who will keep death row inmates alive for 40 years suddenly want to take away your right to protect yourself from a psychological maniac, a madman, in other words, with a gun.